What is up, guys? Welcome back, and welcome in. I'm Smash, I'm a top player in Risk Online, and today we're back at it again with some more classic fix. Let's look at this spawn. Okay. It's a little bit concerning. I need to bring my troops together because I don't have a set place to be. Well, let's go ahead and make some alliances here. And then I think we'll go over some settings, ladies and gentlemen. We are playing World Domination Classic Map Auto Setup 60 Second Turn Time with Hard Automated Bounce. Ranked, fixed, balance, both size. No, we have Alliance Blizzards on. Fog and portals are off. We have some friends. Perfect. If nothing changes here. Oh, white. Okay. White, white does not want to be the friend or the homie. All right. Noted. I want red. Ah, okay, cool. That's actually a good thing for me because it means that I can move out into Afghanistan. Or maybe I stay in the Middle East, don't really know. All right. No, I think I leave. Got an eight stack in Afghanistan. So sitting with two fours, a five, and an eight. Turn one. I mean, I don't know that any of my stacks are directly going to get hit. Could be wrong. We'll see. Okay, let's go over players in this game. In the first position, we have Fab Master. From Germany playing as green. In second position we have Porsche Ping from the US playing as black. Third position, Bill Tarver from the US playing as red. I'm in the fourth position. This is Smash, my main account. I don't really remember what we're at. We're at, we're ranked as a master. Um if you watched the last video you know I haven't played since then, so there we go. In the four fifth position we have General Bolesley from the US doesn't want to be my friend, playing as white. And finally, in the sixth position, perfect timing, we have Herschel Cogburn from Germany playing as yellow. Something weird, I, I clicked ready before, but we have four US players and two Germans. So, uh, we'll see. We'll see if there's some collusion going on here. We don't really know, but I, I clicked ready up before I saw it. Um, so hopefully it's just... Germany is a pretty popular country to play Risk, so um, maybe it's just a happenstance, and I'm sure it is, so. Eh. What ifs? Okay, black is good. They're rolling off their stacks. Letting players get out of their bonuses. Looks like red is trying to take Australia. Looks like green is also trying to take Australia. So we will see something like that. This is now the second 3v1 in a row that he's lost. Wow. And I'm just going to come up and slowly move my stacks together. I think what I'll do is prioritize moving this 5. Or maybe I move the 4 over. Maybe I kind of move this 4 Yeah, I think that's better. I think it's better because I'm slowly moving out. But also, yellow just accepted my alliance, and now now I'm being homey with them, so that's good for me, I think. Perhaps on a set, I could take S-A? I'm not really too sure about that, but maybe I can. We'll see. Oh. 
Yellow's pretty smart. They're just taking cards and making sure they move out of people's way. Do you move in now? See, do you have another thing to roll? No, you gotta move your 14, eh? Yeah. Do you roll it in or out? Yeah, you roll it in. Okay. So you are fighting for Australia. We have the noobs in this game. Oh, but he locks his stack. Interesting there. I think red is rolling too many 2v1s. I don't recommend rolling all your 2v1s. Right? I think that you can roll a 2v1 in some cases, but in most cases, you really just want to make sure that you get a card. Um, I think some people roll too many 2v1s. Um, they see good players do it, and I think that they just kind of assume that it's okay. Hmm. What do we do here? I'll tell you what I'll do. We're gonna go like this. There we go. We get a card off a of 3v1. And I have a big set. That's interesting. What do I do about a big set? Am I lined up to kill anybody? I'm lined up to kill green. I could kill green on four cards. That might be a play that we'll end up going for. I think that that's a good play, depending, right? Because where is Green's troops going? That's the thing you have to think about when you see a profitable kill, is where are those troops going? Not into me. So if they're going into somebody else, like they are seemingly going into red, then maybe that would be more profitable, letting that happen? Hmm. We must think. <laughs> So I could. It could be more profitable letting this kill happen. But I mean, if we're doing this... Yeah. Although, hey, if we're going to overextend into a bonus tag, you might have taken that, actually. Seven, doop, boop, boop. I mean, you have a two-point guard. Yeah, I think I might have taken that. I mean, it's free, pretty much, right? Pull back. Uh, 20 for 4. Andy Wark walks into the bonus. I don't think I kill him now. Seth gets the 8. Does he take Africa? If he does, I might take S.A. <laughs> No. Maybe I start leveraging in South America. Like, I put my whole stack here. Hmm. Or I can just start looking open for a kill. Or we see the suicide? 15v14. We do. Oh my god. Okay, now we kill green. <laughs> yeah, now now we kill green. Now there's still a, a thought where you could say, okay, I'm going to let green retaliate, but four for four cards, I think we take that. I mean, and look how easy it is to do. It's just, I sit in China... Yeah, I, I take this for sure. Um, the question is, though, do I set? Oh, trust me, I will. Because, I mean, I have the kill without setting. Uh, I'll set. Pop. Pop. 
pop. I'm gonna hit this for fun. Do I see any more kills? Uh, my stack is in Argentina. I'm looking at the white kill. I don't have it. I can also do this. I think I do this. Now I'm the essay player, right? I'm sitting on five cards. I have another set. Yeah. That's good. Thumbs up. And I'm looking at, at I can potentially kill somebody now. Like, I can set and kill somebody else. Good thing I didn't try for the kill on white. I didn't see them in Madagascar. I absolutely would have failed that kill. Maybe it would have been better to move the 15 into China. Twenty-six for four. Looks like I'll be allowed to take and hold essay. Or at least take it. Don't know if I'll be able to hold it. I'm gonna be at like fifty troops next turn. Fifty fifty two troops, something like that next turn. <laughs> So I can kind of do whatever I want, right? Albeit that it's profitable-ish. Maybe black... Just takes their bonus? This looks like guarding more than it looks like breaking. I wish they moved more into East Africa. <laughs> I might hit up. No, he doesn't. If he if he opened my stack, I could potentially have killed white. Urkuts is fine. I'm gonna just take my bonus now. Let's do this. Let's be the, the guy who doesn't fight. No set on three. It's a little bit tough. See, here's the thing. Red is going to look fishy soon. Is there 18 for two? Black's going to take a card in the Middle East. Yellow's going to hit this two. So they'll be 15 for two on their turn. They'll sec it five. They'll be 20 for three. Take a card. Lose one. 19 for three. I could kill them. How'd you like that math? Take it and heart. Pulls in. That's a dumb place to guard because of the Iceland Blizzard. Cool. We have a friend. If he punches up, I think I could kill him. Or there. That's fine, too. He's 19 for 3, and I get 5. Could go 20 for 3. Could do it. Ah. Let's let him take another card. 
I'm gonna line up on him though. That may seem threatening, but I don't think he can do anything about it anyway, so we're just gonna do it. I still don't have a set on four. If I can take SA and Australia, we're looking good. Looking very good. I get a plus four, which is, isn't overpowering, but in a four-player endgame, it might make some happiness happen. Some good stuff. Okay. I like this position. Why are you putting stacks in weird places? Now, if red sets, he still doesn't hit me, right? If he takes a fourth card, I double set from this kill. Don't set. Please. I'm, I'm killing you. I have to kill him right now, right? That's a double set. 25, I have to hit a 17 with it. Oh shit, there we go. Thank god. Whew, good dice too. Okay. We don't get two big trays. Let's take the Siam and the horsey trade. <laughs> okay, but like, look at me, right? I'm going to give some hearts to the people that love me. Yeah. And I, I think that people are happy about this. They should take me below 12, because otherwise I'm getting the same troop generation as white and yellow. This puts black at a disadvantage. <laughs> Holding both of these bonuses is really nice for me. If yellow's pretty smart, yellow removes white from here. Hmm, I don't really like that. I'm going to keep this stack slightly smaller because I think eventually I lose it. Okay, so eventually I think I lose SA. So I think I just stack in Siam. For the most part, I will put like... I'll keep this like 10 less. Because I this doesn't move, right? The SA stack is not good. It doesn't move. This 32 is threatening it. Eventually, yellow likes wants to threaten it, probably. And I don't know that I actually want to retaliate. This 19 is kind of dumb. It's locked. The 21 is locked. Yellow has a lot of troops la locked. So if there's a place where I can actually hit, I can kill white or, or black. I think we do. Black leaves my stack open. That's good. I don't think I close that. Uh, what's my set? I don't need the set, right? No one's no one's killing me. And the troop lead by more than a little bit. We do get rewarded with the big trade. Which is outstanding.
My next card is in Japan. Leaves my 35 open to hit people. We like this board state a lot. I really like this board state. I mean, it looks like it could be a stalemate, but we're only 20 minutes into the game. We don't really know. Seems like people are trying to play good neighbor. I'm going to ex extend this alliance request to white again and see what he wants to do. I think we're at the state in the game where white should accept this request. You're going to break me? No. You're just putting your troops down before you set to scare me a little bit. And it works. New Guinea. So I go like this. I go into New Guinea. Bring my three out. Get a dude? How's that look for us? No, we need a horse again. I am the troop lead still, and I think I will be for a while. Let's see if white takes a card off of yellow here to get them below 12. Or if they're giving them a little bit of the advantage. I love White's play here. White looks like a very good player. And honestly, I don't really hate Black's play. I think Black's play is just fine as well. That stack is now locked. I'm going to unlock it because I don't think anything happens. I'm going to start putting over here. We put one troop here to take a card. I put the rest there. Again, I'm keeping it just a little bit here, right? Just enough to exist that I, hey, I want this SA position, but not enough that it'll stop me from being able to take kills in the event of a suicide, right? So if ever there's a time where this 90 just smacks the 52 stack or something, my 53 is open to retaliate. Well, not retaliate, but profit from that. Which I think is important. So my Thiam stack takes priority. Oh, man. I was tired. been playing Diablo 3 lately. I've been playing it pretty late at night. And, uh... Man! If you play Diablo 3, let me know. Because that is a fun game. But, I know D4, Diablo 4 came out. Um, but, yeah, I just... Not a big fan of Diablo 4 right now. I don't, I don't like that there's not really an end game to it, so... These sixes look a little suspicious. Um, let me go back because I don't want I want yet yeah, I want white to be able to take cards. And like I know they can take it off Middle East, but I want them to be able to have that choice. I don't want to be the one to lock them into something. We're gonna roll three v one anyways. Okay. I still think it would be in yellow's best interest. Maybe it is in mine as well. To hit that two stack. Basically everybody but black should hit that two stack. Maybe I do.
Maybe I hit the two stack. What does it do? Just forces white to take cards in the Middle East and lock their stack, which may prolong this game more or less. Because black, but it would only open black's 15 stack. Hmm. So I guess let's not. We have to trade our Joker. We'll take India. I leave it there. White takes a card. Yellow takes a card off wherever white doesn't. Black is kind of making people dance around right now, which is a little bit annoying. But at the same time, I think it is Black's job to create these little blips and stuff. To maybe create some tension in other people. I think that is Black's job. Because Black is uh, generating one less a turn. Oh, you're going to hit my four. Hmm. You're going to suicide me? What? Why would you suicide me? What did I do? Okay. Well, the game, I guess. Still not worth killing. See what black does here. Maybe black just kills me. If black kills me, yellow wins the game. Yeah. Well played. Okay, so he didn't respond, so I won't. All right, I don't want to be come dead. I will set though. Good, you piss everybody off. Great, that's exactly what I need. Let's see if we can pull this off, ladies and gents. We get suicided into, but since we're in two positions, it doesn't work. Did not expect my SA position to outlive my NA position. <laughs> Thumbs down break alliance. Like, what the fuck do you think is going to happen, dog? He doesn't have a set. I'm going to set.
Hit that, motherfucker. Yeah. <laughs> If white hits me, I need I need yellow to not kill me first. Yeah, run away, you fucking puss. Go into Siam like you little Australian dippy doodads. Don't break me. There's no reason for you to let me hold, but don't break me. That's just dumb. Yeah, he's lining up this suicide. Yes, break that bonus. Break it. Ah! Damn, that would be great. I have a set on three. I'm going to take it. Listen, ladies and gents, you have to show restraint in these situations. I have to show restraint. There's still a chance I get fourth. There's also a chance that I get first. This game is not over at all. For instance, this could happen where you hit a 67 into a 40. Right? And since that can happen, we have to be under the assumption that it can happen. Also, I would rather skip a card than unlock this 40 stack. Because if this 40 stack hits me, yellow kills me. Before he kills white. So I don't unlock that 40 stack. Go hide in Australia. <laughs> no. Sort of. Hmm. I don't like this. This is scary to me. Means I can get backdoored at any minute, and what am I supposed to do? Right. This is why you don't suicide immediately, though, because there's chances of things of being able to restabilize, right? As long as it doesn't kill you. Like, I'm only 30 troops behind black now. And he hit... He hit what? A really big troop. Ah, oh, we don't know. It was big. <gasps> what was... No, was that a one? Damn. I didn't know he fortified. He did fortify, though. Right, and I could kill black. Or I could kill... White at any moment right now. It would end the game. But like I could do it. Yeah. 
Yeah, Mika Young. Get out of my fucking shit, dude. You have no skill. Now I'm getting plus five. I don't think I get to hold that, right? White's gonna come right in my ass. White sets punches through an eight stack, though, to do it. See if they let me hold this. Doesn't look like it. Yes, they do. Hmm. Interesting. Let's see if they're still Mika yawning. Mika is the name of the emote, by the way. Ugh. General Bosley, you're a bitch. It's 59 is pointed at me, but you see, I'm not lining up on it. It's a cold war right now. Brewing on yellow, I cannot physically afford. And I should have set, oh well. I'm gonna go like this, give him a heart. Give yellow a heart. I'll set next turn and be on zero cards. I'll just zero card this game. Let's turn into Arco. <laughs> Little bit of patience. Just gotta suit in and wait for somebody to kill white for me. Right now, I'm generating eight a turn. And he's generating five a turn. And every third three turns, he's trading in ten troops, roughly. White, yellow's not very good. They're locking their 114 stack, and they keep lining up on me. You're gonna break me now. Okay. Take a fourth card. And to be honest, if I'm not allowed to hold this, I don't. I'm not. I'm all good with that, right? I have no problem not holding Africa. As long as I exist in this game, I'm here. I don't like what's happening. I'm being pushed on, right? But at the same time, nothing has happened yet. If somebody wanted to suicide me, they would have a long time ago. Hmm. Black could bot. <laughs> What do I do if black bots? I move back into Brazil. Oof, that would suck, because then the bot could stack on me here. I'd have to hit like a 50 stack for sets. Ugh. Alright. See if a 117 stacks, okay. There's a chance the bot just. Hits me, right? I 
If the bot is a set, the bot could kill me. This is risky. But if the bot even attacks like one time into the Middle East, I'm good, right? We just need to make sure that this 12 doesn't come down first. We want the 101 to come out. You're going to break me? If he would have broken me, I think maybe I would have just taken second or third. There's still a chance that... Puts a 22 there. That makes no sense. Yellow is going to win this game. And they suck. They're really bad. Oh, thank God. Don't roll it here. Oh, yes. Roll this 104. Split. Yes. Breaks me. That's fine. I don't care. Keep, keep hitting me, man. I don't mind. I don't mind. I don't need cards. Definitely not gonna hit a fucking 50 stack. That gives the game, game to white. Well, I mean, yellow wins the game. I just need to get second. Let me ask. Yellow. Tack white. Tack black. Thumbs up. Thumbs down. Thumbs up. gonna lock his stack again okay I guess we're in here for the long haul then and who knows maybe white hit me because I was the biggest so maybe white goes and hits him let's do this You're going to stack on me forever. Hmm. Not taking cards when I have a joker in my hand is really frustrating. This is a tough game. It's very mentally taxing. All right. You get suicided. By a really crappy player. You get stacked on. And then your neighbor bots. With 360 stacks. 50 to 60 stacks. On your stack that are gonna grow because they're getting a plus eight to your plus to your plus five. All right. 
I want to see something happen here. It looks like we're moving some stacks around. So what yellow looks like they're ready to kill some people. Yellow's almost to the point where they can kill both of us and that's pretty cool. So that means this game will be over and we can take second place. Hmm. I'm not going to do anything with this alliance. But it's there. We have an alliance now. Attack yellow. Could you imagine if they just smacked that 64 stack? Like, what the fuck? I think they would die. I think yellow would kill them if they hit that 64. Look, they're sitting on five cards. How do I how do I finagle second place here? That is the question. So I have to somehow finagle second place. Which is very frustrating. So I got suicided into and I have to finagle second. But my best move now is to not hit a 58 stack, right? So... <laughs> So I kind of have to wait till I'm let out, right? By somebody who can afford to let me out? If I'm yellow, I actually hit a 54 stack. Because what what happens is, is you're not giving up your advantage, but you're unlocking a 142 stack that's mad at your only other opponent. Right? You're you're giving up a little bit of advantage, right? But you're you're gonna be at what two forty ish to our one fifty to one twenty two, like you're still double our troops almost, right? Right now we have what two two seventy two. You have two ninety seven. You had a fifty four stack. And there's a good chance that this one forty two just goes in and clobbers. The problem is is I would get third place still because of of black. Even though black's a bot, I would still get second or third because black is an automated bot, so he takes his rank of. He places where his bot places, which is annoying and a flaw in the game. But here we are. Now, my problem is that there's a chance that this game ends the exact same way it would have, like, 10 minutes ago, or, like, 20 minutes ago now. All right, when white suicided me, if I would have killed white, I would have gotten, white would have gotten fourth, I would have gotten third, black, second, yellow would have won. And that's the same way that this game potentially ends right now. Also, the longer I wait, the less likely that I can actually kill white is. I can't kill white right now because there's a 54 stack in my way. Attack black. Thumbs up. I'll hit white. If you hit this 54 stack, I'll kill white.
Hit black. Unlock my stack and I'll kill I'll kill white for you. Take third. He could literally win the game right now. Maybe we can get him to hit white. Attack black. Attack yellow. What? What would you like to hit, G? <laughs> Breaks our alliance. Okay, cool. I don't know why you're mad at me. I haven't done shit to you, but okay. It would have been hilarious. Hit the white 22. Hit it. Oh, come on, man. How much I want him to hit the 54 is not even funny. So I cannot win the game, right? White will not work with me. I hit a 32. If I hit a 32. Good dice? No. If I stepped out, he could double tap me. So I don't step out. But next turn I set and I kill yellow. Attack white. Thumbs up. This is good enough for me, ladies and gents. Uh, third place, the dude that suicided me. As long as I beat him. I get the revenge, right? The question is, can I get yellow to give me second? Because they could. Damn, bro, really? Getting in my way. I have to come up this way. Okay. And I will. Thumbs down, break alliance. There you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Now, good game, attack black, thumbs up, heart. See if it works. I'm asking you to hit black. There's a fucking chance, ladies and gents. <gasps> oh my god, I'm in a nut. Oh, this guy is gonna fucking kill black. <gasps> double tap this shit. Oh my god, he's gonna fucking double tap him. Ladies and gentlemen. Oh, oh my gosh.
Oh, I love you so much, my guy. Oh, you're so cute. Guys, this guy's amazing. I can't believe he's actually letting me. Oh, you're so good. Oh, yellow, I love you. Herschel Cogburn, you're a G. Oh, thank you. I get second place this game. Good game. Thank you so much, Yellow. I get second place this game, ladies and gents. Our game is saved. I really... He could have done that, like, a long time ago. He's an expert. Ladies and gents, we have a novice. Beginner, beginner. White was an expert. You suck. And expert. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Please like, comment, and subscribe. It really does help out. It shows the video that uh, the video should be is worth sharing and all that stuff. So yeah, click the links down below for my Twitch and my Discord. We hang out in there every day. And thank you guys so much for watching. And as always, guys, we'll see you next time. Oh, yeah.